Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another tutorial video. And something I wanted to thank everyone for again is thanks again for uh, for all of your uh, your excellent questions. And this was another one of the questions that I've actually received from several of my viewers, and I wanted to respond in video format where you can see the screen. Um, so the the one of the comments that's come around a lot is that you know in your first flight video, the FPV, the first person view, it looked grainy. And it did, and the reason mine looked grainy is because I had interference. I was running a, uh, a third-party iOS uh, screen recording app concurrently while I was flying, and that app interfered uh, with the FPV. My FPV since then has been pristine. Uh, but if you are having problems with your Phantom 3 FPV, there's a setting you may want to check out. Now, if you go here towards the top of your app, you see to the right where it says Safe to Fly GPS. It looks like a controller with a little cell phone type signal things. Click on that icon. Once you click on that icon, the next thing you're going to do is right here, the second one where it says HD, right under the one that's highlighted, HD, right there. Select HD. And more than likely, what you're going to see here by default, you're probably going to see custom selected. Now, custom being selected means that there's a, you know, that there's a channel specified. But what I like to do is put it on auto, and and then it uh, it seems to find the best channel because what this is doing it's controlling the uh, the first person view communications between your controller and the Phantom Three. So more than likely, by default, you're probably on custom, which may work. So you can see here if you're on custom, you can choose various channels. It's on channel 20, but there's a there's a list of options. See. Now, obviously, you would want to make sure whatever channel you chose, uh, if there are some sort of uh, regulations in your area or wherever you're flying, make sure you're, uh, you're compliant. But this is where you would change that. And then likewise, in the, in the custom here, if you wanted to change the transmission quality, whereas now it's at 6, megs, 6 Mbps, which says 1.24 miles, I guess, you could lower that. And see, now I'm down to 4 but it's saying range of 1.86 miles. Now, obviously, I would never fly that far away because I fly line of sight and um, and recreationally, but that would be something that, you know, if you were for some reason experiencing degraded FPV viewing in your, in your flying area, you know, a couple things. You may want to play with these manual channel selections. You may also want to degrade your image transmission quality so that you get more range. You know, you won't have as as sharp of FPV view, but you'll probably get more range out of it. But I've found that auto, for me, auto seems to work the best. So that's a setting I've used, and I've had nothing but uh, a favorable experience with it. Now again, my first flight, as I mentioned previously, I did have problems, but those problems during my first flight were invoked by me concurrently running a third-party screen recording app. So that's not something that, that you would be doing if you're out flying. So if you are getting that degraded quality, check this out. Hope it works for you. Tell me what you think. And uh, be sure to subscribe and share with others. YouTube.com forward slash iRixGuy. And also be sure to check out uh, uh, 400orbelow.com. I've got a lot of goodness there. Tutorials, just a bunch of miscellaneous drone-related information. And, and I encourage you to check that out and share with others. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day.